Hey everybody, it's me again, Santa Frank Fire Food. In today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how to sling with crackers. Alright, got a few of my favorite slings right here with some uh, new crackers, three different types. And, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how to throw them because it can be dangerous. So stay tuned and let's get cracking. Alright, everybody. Today, I got three of my favorite slings, like I said. But we all got different, I got different crackers on each one of them. All right. First, I got my spider wire. Spider wire cracker. I keep me some two inch tassels. This is a uh, four inch, six all together, two inch for the tassels. Same with this one, but this one's the gutted, the guts of paracord, the inside of some paracord guts. And this is old nylon twine. Nylon twine. Today I'll be using my patriotic sling. A city sling, glow in the dark and orange. And my glow in the dark camouflage. Alright, first we're gonna try out. Let's say those paracord guts. Let's see what that one can do, huh? All right. <clears throat> now, my slings are different than most slings. All right? I put a little whip crack on mine, just like the whips have. And the problem with this is sometimes when you sling it, it might catch your hand. And it'll get you good. I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna stink. It's gonna stink. And it usually happens when you start throwing back to back to back. Because when you do that, you kind of, you know, get in the groove. You, you don't start thinking. It's all becomes natural. And you forget the little steps. Now, what I like to do when I first start slinging, either it's with a cracker, not a cracker, whatever, throw a few empty throws. You know, you gotta warm up first. You know, you hear that pop, you know you're doing something. But the biggest problem is you letting this tangle up with this, and then when you throw it, it's gonna throw you, throw your throw off, roadly. <laughs> but uh okay so what I like to do put it in here now when you swing you got to focus on this getting caught up like that so you try to all right when you throw you think about keeping this in this general area you know you the wind's blowing so it's kind of screwing me up but you know because if you start, you don't really care and do this, there's a higher chance that it's going to get caught until you do this. Right? See what I'm saying? And one thing I learned, too, also, is when you throw, a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on this, but when you start losing control of your throws, you try different things. And this is one of the things that I try. When I throw it, I kind of roll it out, you know? I throw it, kind of roll it out. Because I know if I roll it out, it's going to be smooth. I'm not going to catch me, I'm not going to catch the slang, and it's going to make a good noise. So let's see. Keep it right here. Roll it out. So I tried to come under this bridge. Hopefully the echoes will be a little loud, but I wasn't <clears throat> planning on the wind and all this damn traffic. Another thing too, when you roll it out, pull it down. You know, I play baseball, so it's kind of a little natural to me. But once you learn how to use your whole body, bring it down. All right, we're gonna try it over the spider wire this time. Still don't like the spider wire. <clears throat> Real durable, lasts a long time. And to me, which another one I could be wrong with, but. To me, once the tassel, the tassel's got to really fur out to really get that pop that you want. But she's still pretty nasty. Alright, sound pretty good out here. Alright, now 
camera. I'm going to try to throw one where it pops close to the camera. I don't know if you heard that or not. I'll try it again. Now I'm going to try where they said it's slay. They said they got the nylon, nylon twine, which this is a good, this one has been used before. You can see how it's rough, but it's durable because it's been used a lot and it's still together. The other two crackers I just started using. These are actually the best sizes that I found that makes the most noise and it's not too short or too long. It's a sweet spot. Can't hit the bridge to save my life. Now I'm gonna try to hit the bridge instead of trying to make it crack. When you don't pay attention, that's what happens as your throat gets thrown off. One thing I'm learning, it's not that easy throwing, slinging when it's real windy. You're gonna need some heavy rocks. That old spider wire. Alright y'all, this wind is not acting right today, but just for a recap. Alright. Lift up your cracker. Six inches all together. Four inches here two inches here. When you sling it with the cracker, that's extra long, because don't get me wrong, this will get in the way, get aggravated. Crackers are very easy to take off. Don't worry. Well, anyway, when you're swinging, keep the cracker right here. This is the way you want the cracker. Right now. Let's see, throwing a... Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Try to get this down. The tripod keep falling. Keep it right here. Throw. When you throw, roll it out. Pull it down. Just drop. Pull it down. Ain't going out and all that. I'll hold the camera. All right, everybody. This channel for practice prior record. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Leave a comment in the description. Let me see what you want to see. See some more videos like this. Uh, thanks for watching. And don't need that little piece, man.